As we mentioned earlier, the Republican National Convention will not come to Florida after all. Tonight, President Trump pulled the plug on the Jacksonville portion, citing what he called our state's flare up in COVID-19 cases. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy joins us now. And Jim, did the president really have a choice here? Uh, he didn't. Now, you have to put this in the context of what we've seen over the last few days is the president finally coming to grips and realizing that his downplaying of the virus has not worked for him. His poll numbers have tanked. So he's trying to rebrand by saying he's active in this. And so this canceling the Jacksonville part of the trip was was clearly part of his new strategy to try to say, yes, the virus is real. That President Trump spoke to Governor DeSantis yesterday. Governor DeSantis also spoke with uh, Vice President Mike Pence. So what was likely the last straw for the president or for the Republican Party when it came to having the, this part of the convention pulled out of Jacksonville? I think it was actually a few things. From what I'm hearing, one, first off, fundraising to pull off the event, which again was moved very late, did not go well. Second, the, the, the fact that the sheriff in Jacksonville basically said that he could not provide adequate security because there was no plan, I think that was a pivotal moment. And two, I will tell you that city and county commissioners were scheduled to meet tomorrow in Jacksonville to discuss all the problems with the, with the event coming and it could have become really embarrassing if the Republican mayor in Jacksonville had to come out against having the convention here. So I think the president seeing the handwriting on the wall, knowing what was taking place in Florida, decided to, well, take credit for pulling out what really he had no choice but to do. Yeah, looking like a, a preemptive strike there. Jim DeFeedy, thanks so much.